Hi everyone, this is Ms. Mathis. I'm just going to give you a quick screencast uh, giving you the details of how to enroll and sign your student in on Extra Math. Uh, you just will need a Google search where you can type in Extra Math. Uh, the website is extramath.org. You could also search that. Once you get to the website, there's a tab here uh, say, asking, do you have a school flyer, and click Enroll. Uh, please click there. On Parents' Night or earlier this week, uh, you should have received a flyer that looks something like this with uh, your student's name down here as well as their enrollment code. You will need both their name and the enrollment code for this process. Right here, you're just going to type in your parent email address. Uh, this email is where your student's PIN code uh, and reports will be sent. Uh, you will also need the enrollment code. Again, the enrollment code was located right here on that parent flyer that was sent home with the handbooks. I have already registered my student, Danny the Dragon, so I will not click Next, uh, but if you do, you should receive an email that looks something like this. It'll have uh, your student's name as well as a PIN code. Uh, this PIN code you will need to sign your student in. Um, there's more information that you're welcome to review on your own when you receive your enrollment email. Um, so after you have enrolled, you need to go up here to sign in. Once you are at sign in, um, I have already signed Danny the Dragon in, but I will go ahead and remove him so I can show you the process again. Um, here you need to type my email address, which is smathis at daynoobschool.com. Uh, you need to use my email address because I registered our class, um, and this will make sure that the data uh, for your student is sent to me so that I can use it to inform my instruction. Uh, you need to type in your student's name, mine is Danny the Dragon, and enter your PIN code. Again, the PIN code was the four-digit number that came to your email, and simply click Sign In. Uh, once you do this, it will bring up the program, and uh, there will be a person who Gives Welcome a blur. back to Extra Math. I'm glad you keep coming back because I want you to be good at math. And that takes practice. So let's do it. Go ahead and click the green arrow. There'll be another message. Let's do another practice. This time with these facts. Do you want to know the secret to answering the questions before I do? Questions come back over and over again. So try to remember the answer rather than figuring it out. Remembering is faster. Try it this time. Press the button to start. Before it began, you saw the full grid. Uh, it was very quick. The problems that were in green are problems that our class knew very well. Uh, we did the diagnostic assessment to, together as a group. Uh, these problems in yellow are problems that we are doing pretty well with but could get faster at. Um, these uh, are the only ones that we'll be working on during this session. Uh, once you click start, it's going to bring this up. Uh, your goal during this practice is to answer the problems before the teacher does. For each one you do, you get a happy face, and the goal is to see how many happy faces you can collect. Uh, if this teacher is a distraction, you can click this button to remove him. It will remember your settings. Uh, and if your student is struggling with using the keypad, to enter the answers, you can also bring this up where they can actually click. Uh, you'll notice if you wait, uh, because you're not sure of the answer, it does bring up a shadow here of what the answer is, so that uh, keeps students from getting too frustrated, uh, which is a great feature. And again, you can use either the keypad or the keyboard. Uh, so I won't continue on anymore. I do ask uh, when your students are logged on, do everything you can to ensure that they do finish the full session uh, and they are prompted with an arrow that says sign out. Um, this will uh, make sure that I'm getting full data rather than an incomplete session. Uh, if you have any further questions, uh, please don't hesitate to send me an email 
or stop by. I'm happy to help out if you're having problems. Um, another area before I go that you might want to check out is this parents or teachers area. Uh, you can sign in and this is a space where you can uh, track your own students learning uh, and we will be using this classroom tab within our room for additional extra math practice at school. Uh, again, any questions, comments, concerns, please send me an email uh, or stop by after school. I'd be happy to talk to you uh, in either of those forms. I hope this was helpful and answered some of your questions. Uh, and I, I also hope that it is a valuable enrichment resource for you guys to use at home uh, to help your students continue progressing. Um, thanks so much for watching.